What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol, back with another video today. We're going to talk about how you can upgrade your original armor, Mandalorian by Hot Toys, from something that looks kind of like this, into something that looks like this. How awesome is that? Let's get started. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video. Today we're gonna to upgrade the Mandalorian display. Now, I gotta be honest with you, the original armor Mandalorian should have came, it should have came with the child. It really should have. But Hot Toys said like, look, we can, we can milk this a little bit. We're gonna give you a second figure you know, next year with upgraded armor and everything. And we're going to give you the child with the pram, which means people are sleeping on this figure because they want the child. I'm going to tell you right now, don't sleep on this figure. Once this thing sells out, you're going to be kicking yourself and you're going to be wishing you got it because as always, people like the original versions of characters. Look at Iron Man figures. How many people out there want the Iron Man Mark one and you can't have it, can't get it. How many people out there just want, want different figures? A, a, a New Hope uh, Luke Skywalker from way back when. People love the original versions of their characters, so do not sleep on this version. Please don't. In fact, I have four of these things. One of which I'm actually going to be giving away to one of my Patreon supporters. So if you haven't already checked that out, uh, definitely do that. Uh, link in the description below if you want to uh, see how you might be able to participate. Uh, we are actually tonight... By the time you're watching this, we are having a Zoom meetup call with all of my Patreons. We jump on there once every couple weeks and we talk about just whatever collecting, whatever you guys want to talk about. So kind of a one-on-one -on -one thing. But let's get onto this thing. This is super awesome. A viewer messaged me on Instagram the other day and said, hey, look, have you seen this? And I said, well, no, I, I haven't seen this, but I kind of I I want it. So they said they've got this thing at, uh, at Hallmark. And this is what this is, guys. This is not a Hot Toys piece. It's not Hasbro. It's not anything else. This is a Hallmark Christmas ornament. This is what the box looks like for anybody who wants to know. Uh, it's about 20 bucks. All right, it's about 20 bucks. And uh, you can go pick it up now online. The, I would put you a link online. In fact, I'll still put a link, but they're sold out online. They're gone. Uh, I went today, went to Hallmark. They had three of these sitting on the shelf. So I picked one up and uh, went ahead and made this transformation happen. But if, if 20 bucks, $20 for this, okay? So I made, uh, I picked this up. Now, you might be asking yourself, how the heck, how the heck do you have this thing floating on this display base? That, that was very important to me to want to make this happen. So I, I went through a couple different ideas. I looked at, um, you know, maybe hanging it. It has a piece on the top which like hangs off a Christmas tree. I, you just literally unscrew that, it comes right off. That took like two seconds. In fact, it, it looks, uh, it's tiny. Just, anyways, there's that. Um, so I didn't want that, but I didn't want it visible. I wanted to be able to hide how it was mounted. And then I thought about, well, how did the Sideshow Collectibles, how did they make their premium format statue? It was actually incorporated into the cape. And I said, well, I, I could probably do that, but how can I make that happen? So I'm gonna show you right now, very quickly, this is a very short video, it's a how-to. If you like this video, let me know. Maybe if this video gets like enough views and likes and comments and all that kind of stuff, maybe I'll, I'll go back and pick up another one of these and we'll just give one away because I know where there's one or two of these at and uh, maybe you can make your own. So let's do that. Ready? Let's go. Before we get too far into this thing, look how awesome this Mandalorian figure is. In fact, if you didn't see the unboxing review, go check that out. It's amazing. And one thing to note, guys, this part right here where the uh, blaster rifle actually connects in, I do not have mine, if we rotate this, I do not have mine pegged all the way in. It is ever so slightly in there uh, and because I don't want to break that piece. But look at this. Look at this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to introduce this guy. So here's a little close-up footage of the child. It looks pretty good, right? I mean, the weathering on it looks pretty good. It's not It's not super flat other than the blanket area. That's, I mean, it's, you know, it's plastic. It's a Christmas ornament. What do you expect? But I think it looks pretty stinking good uh, next to uh, the Mando. And he's all happy and whatnot. But there we go. If we back this thing up, you can see you cannot judge how I have this thing floating. So if you're smart, uh, you might have already guessed. We'll see. Uh, but I wanted to be able to do that. I wanted this kind of a, uh, I guess I'll back this thing up one more second. I wanted a little bit of a, a walking pose, a little bit of movement, and I think what I'm going to do, actually, because these helmets are so, 
look at that boom there we go much better man that's a cool figure just saying all right so here's what i did guys this is super easy it's going to cost you three dollars and i will put a link down in the description below go to lowe's you're going to pick up some 316 round metal rod okay looks like this round metal rod 316 it comes in about a three foot uh length and uh it has blue paint on the end which mine has i've already cut all that piece off but it has blue paint on the end i'll put a link down below you will need something to bend it and cut it with you wouldn't need something like this all right so you're gonna need something like this you can't you're not gonna be able to bend that and break it with your hand you can bend it with your hand but you're not gonna be able to get a nice you know 90 degree bend or anything like that uh, without a tool unless you have a vice or something which i don't own but let's go ahead and uh, show you what i got going now one of the benefits of this here mandalorian is that the cape has all these nice weather and holes and stuff going on inside so i actually just used that to my advantage so let me show you what i got going on so i'm gonna this is look this is like the magician revealing his secrets that's what this is for three dollars guys you can have this child floating and not be able to see it and you can wonder all your people are gonna be like what the heck so here we go this is what i've got going this is the back so i have that metal rod going into the base where this other uh, pike goes in uh and i've literally i had to bend it a little bit at the bottom because it's not a perfect fit but it's pretty stinking close it's pretty stinking close and then i've got a little 90 degree bend there and then i've got it coming underneath into a hole in the back of the cloak right there and then it literally just comes around here into a hole that i drilled so i pull this back and i literally drilled a hole right there into the pram okay it did it was not difficult at all to make that happen in fact i used a uh just a really simple drill bit one of the things you'll be mindful of is because you're using a round hole and a round bar uh, i thought it was very helpful to put some double-sided tape around the bar so there was some friction going on here now i probably could have drilled it a little tighter but honestly i was just making this up as i went along there's there's no game plan for this there's no playbook uh, but this is what i did so i put double sided tape around there to get some friction on it so this guy won't flip one way or the other and uh, go crazy on me but you can tell you and then i've got obviously back here i've got that bar hidden by that leg and that's it guys uh, so three dollars for the bar twenty dollars for the child and the pram and you know 270 dollars for uh the, the mando but backing that up look at that i think it looks pretty fantastic guys let me know in the comment section down below if you're gonna try this and let me know your thoughts on this uh, should hop toys have just given us a child it, but the thing is i was thinking about that just now even if they gave us a child it would still have a flight stand of some kind uh, an acrylic stand or plastic whatever it is and this is way cooler this is way cooler than maybe what Hot Toys would have gave us. Uh, other than obviously the detail on this guy, it's not super detailed, uh, but I will show you kind of the what it does have. Uh, it does have some paint, it's not bad. It does have a little weight on it. And this rod, depending on uh, where you got it bent, it will hold it. You don't, you don't have to, I mean, this is a 90 degree bend going on right here, so you don't have to worry about it falling over. Just bend it to wherever you like, and you can have it going on whatever direction you want. I originally had mine, going on uh this side of the mando and but i didn't like i don't know there's something about it i thought it looked better on that side you guys can let me know down below what you think um but i hope this was helpful to you i hope this little quick how-to literally like i said 20 bucks for the child and three dollars for some metal rod a round round rod here and an awesome display Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Now is a great time to do it. We've got 50,000 subscriber giveaways coming up very soon. And uh, obviously join the Facebook group. Uh, and I'll try to put some more uh, detailed photos on Instagram and whatnot of this. Uh, and actually in the Facebook group. But um, yeah, if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, please do so. We've got a pile of people there and they are awesome. Guys, as always, click what you like. We will see you next time.